welcome to creating entertaining presentations using Adobe Presenter. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use Adobe Presenter. My name is Justin Keel and I'm an instructional designer with the Department of Instructional Technologies and Multimedia Services here at Allegheny College of Maryland. Our objectives for this presentation will be to help you identify how to access your Adobe Presenter software and allow you to be able to demonstrate how to create a simple video using PowerPoint and Adobe Presenter. Now the thing that's different with Adobe Presenter is Adobe Presenter is actually an add-on to Microsoft PowerPoint. So you'll access your software by opening a PowerPoint presentation that you've already created. So the first step in this whole process is creating a PowerPoint or using a PowerPoint that you've already created. All my demonstrations will be used using PowerPoint 2010. So when you open a presentation, you'll have a toolbar at the top of your screen. Now some things that we'll, we'll want to do differently from a traditional presentation is we also want to be able to add transitions and animations in our presentation so that it flows better and it looks like a more professional video. So at the top, transitions. Transitions are the way to go from one slide to another slide in your PowerPoint presentation. Uh, in this presentation, I'm just using a simple fade effect between all of my slides. Animations are different than transitions because animations are the effects on an individual slide. So um, with text uh, going in and out, uh, the way that I'm fading these boxes around the different tabs are all done using animations. So transitions are between two slides and animations are effects in a given slide. So you want to do that to your PowerPoint before you go ahead and record your Adobe presentation. Now, whenever you're ready, you've got your animate, you've got your PowerPoint, you've got your animations, you've got your transitions all done. There's a new tab after the software's installed in PowerPoint that says Adobe Presenter. And if you click on the Adobe Presenter tab, this is the toolbar that will come up. Now, you want to have your webcam already attached and ready to go. You want to have a microphone ready to go. You've got your PowerPoint here ready to go. And as soon as you're ready to record your video, you click on the near the left, there's a button that says record video. And that's the button we're going to want to click to begin our presentation. Now whenever you click that record button, this screen will uh, come up. Now this screen will help you set your webcam where you want it to be. One important thing are these two dashed lines here. You want to make sure that you're centered in between these two dashed lines because that's the part of your webcam that Adobe Presenter will be recording. Another thing you want to check is to make sure that when you speak, the line here next to the microphone lights up so that it's picking up your audio where that arrow is. Um, that will turn green um, whenever they can hear your audio. And finally, whenever you're ready to go, just click on the record button and your PowerPoint presentation will be on your screen. You won't be able to see your webcam while you're recording. So after you click on record, there'll be a short countdown that comes up on your screen and you'll just talk through your PowerPoint. You can advance your slides like you normally would, go the entire way through your PowerPoint or however far you wanted to go for your video. And when you're finished, the important thing to remember to end the video, you'll need to click on both the shift and end keys at the same time, and that will end your video. So as you're recording through, you go straight through like you normally would in a typical PowerPoint, and at the end, you just click, you just uh, push the shift and end keys at the same time. When you do that, you'll see a new screen uh, similar to this, or it might have uh, your picture on it, or however your your PowerPoint presentation. So there's some important parts to this screen. First is the little pad right here that's got your play keys and your forward keys. So you can go through different parts of your video. You can play it through. 
Um, there's also a record key that's kind of a more advanced feature that you can record additional uh, parts if you need to add something to it at a later time. Down here is your timeline. You can see the waveforms from the audio. And down here are the views that your viewer will see. If you can see up in the timeline, there are colors, yellow, blue, and green. And down here on the different views, also yellow, blue, and green. What you can do, and what I found the easiest way to do, is to play through a certain point, and it will default to just showing your PowerPoint. So the PowerPoint is green, you are yellow, and a split screen is blue. So you play, and when you want to change views, just pause it and click one of these buttons that you want to change the view to. And then you can play some more, and if you want to change the view again, you would pause it and click the button you want to change the view to. And you can do that the entire way through your presentation. All right, here at the playhead, which is what this arrow is pointing to, it's a little box with a little line that shows exactly where you're at in your video. That is where your transition will start whenever you pause the video. Also, you can click on this and drag it to fast forward to different parts of your presentation. Another thing you can do to add some more professional touches to it is to click on this little button here in the lower left corner. When you click on that button, an additional menu will appear called branding. Now in this branding menu, first you can select a theme and this theme will set your opening, opening and closing music and animations. Um, there's some ones built into Adobe Presenter. So it kind of adds a more professional look and feel to your video. And you can add lower third text to the beginning of your video. Now you might ask what lower third text is, and here I've highlighted it with a box. Lower third text is just text below your picture that introduces who you are as the presenter. So in the you check that lower third text box, you put the presenter name in, Justin Keel, that's my name. You put your title in, my title is Instructional Designer. And at the beginning of the video, it will, for roughly five seconds, it will display that text. And again, just adds another professional feel to it. Whenever you've finished editing your video, adding these different features, you can click on Publish. Now when you click on Publish, it will take several minutes, maybe up to 20 minutes to a half hour, depending on your computer processing power, to actually change your recording into an MP4 file or video file. Once that video file is completed and saved on your computer, you can then upload that video file to um, a YouTube account or to another media server of your choice to be able to share it with your audience. If you have any additional questions about how to use Adobe Presenter, you can contact me in the Instructional Technology Department using my phone extension or the help desk. Thank you.